Set this destination. You drive. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Jesus, All right, I'm Bukowski. glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think <laughs> she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Nah, she didn't kill him. No, I already know she didn't kill him. That's not a killer. This idiot tried to leave town. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. <laughs> you looking for someone? No, you don't. Something funny about the clam chowder. Is there? Food was there something right? funny about the clam sure chowder? Oh yeah, I thought so. I was about to say evidence. Oh, records. Okay, I got a record. All right. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Frank Morgan? Who's <laughs> asking? With the light on him? He wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, <laughs> I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough. <laughs> we found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? What you know, buddy? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, <laughs> Phelps. <laughs> You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? I have a receipt. You were there, Morgan. Let's we go. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. <laughs> I knew it. All right, where is he? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Lies, lies, and more lies, Morgan. You know where he is. You know where what he have is. you got that says I know where he is? Uh. Um. Looks like I was mistaken. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. 
He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Do you want a tip? Refill my coffee faster next time, honey. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. I got drinking to do. You're getting nothing more from me. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go he back just to my drink. Uses to accompany me to church. Top of my class, back east. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> the type is clever. Hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. KGPL calling car 11K. 11 King, come in. 11 K, go ahead. Message from Tactical Services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. Time to reel this guy in, Phelps. Slow down! All units of 459 just occurred in 6th and 7th. Any unit to handle a code 2 identified. Let's check the place out. Come on. Wake up, Cole.
What are we waiting for? Apartment two. Cool. Apartment two. <coughs> Let's get him. One, two, four. <coughs> two. Help you, gentlemen. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, Why'd you ever even answer the door? I'm really sorry <coughs> about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. Chase him. Don't trust that. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Oh. There's no point running, Adrian. Oh my god. Mr. Black, get back here right now. What are you doing? Why are you running? Oh. And it's still just RT. Okay. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. <clears throat> Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. <laughs> Adrian Black, you're under arrest <laughs> for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably Man. end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> My God. So dumb. That turned out to Could be just quite left. some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You can go a long way in this department. Woohoo! Driver's seat. 14, 14, 12, 12. Let's go. Nice. Got everything correct. Console's car. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Man, woohoo. Better go earn our pathetic wages. <laughs> Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. Not a stolen car racket. I'm going to memorize your name. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grid. Whoops. Won't let me go out there. Alright. Where to? 
Jacob's backyard. Cool. Oh my god. Let's go. You can drive. <coughs> go ahead, take us there, Bukowski. An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. <laughs> Not a shiny new Packard. You don't Packard. say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. You hear about <laughs> Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. I like that. I like that exchange. Margaret should take some pride. Pride comes before a fall. I like that. Decent exchange. Cole's pride could definitely do him there. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Houlihan. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. All right. Uh, don't want to get close to him yet. A bat. Optimistic, Cole. Okay. It's over here. A wrench. <coughs> Combination wrench. Dewey Brothers. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. Car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. <laughs> nice. Took the front well, license. Use the registration to trace the owner. And they took a flag. They must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. Yeah, they did. That's weird. They took the flag. owned by the Argentinian embassy. <laughs> okay. Weird. Okay, took both license plates. And that's all the evidence? We better see what this Jacobs guy has to say. Yeah. Oswald Doing Jacobs. That. That's right. Whoa, that weird car screech. What exactly <laughs> happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty <laughs> lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my Baseball? windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. <coughs> Good God. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. <sighs> Can you tell us what they I were doing? That. Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off. Tooting and hollering oh God, and car screeching. me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. 
<laughs> denies that like an insult. How dare you? I do not speak Spanish. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Liar. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Yeah. Be a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. Yeah. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. <laughs> the car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. <laughs> Why is the car doing that? Oh my god. Uh... He's lying again. Right. So what do you take, Jacobs? Bukowski you want my partner him. to pat you down? Yeah. I found a notebook <laughs> in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, Maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Ooh. Yeah, how about you stop being a crotchety old man and how about you play with the kids? Gee. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. A degenerate. Nice I'll run eyelashes, John Madsen by lovely speaking voice. Miguel, Fabian, Olive Skin, Tristan, Blonde Locks. Larry is tanned with blue eyes. Slim hips on one dude, huh? Contact oh, details man. on a William this guy's Dewey. The guys. This looks like business rather than pleasure. <laughs> oh. Yep, taking that with me. I think we've rung this place dry. Find a game well. Let's call the cops. Oh, wait. I am the cops. No. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. <laughs> How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Dealership 629 Figueroa Street. Nice. Got it. Where Can we're you headed? put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. <laughs> There's what just the? one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? <laughs> Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. <coughs> like, this guy's, this guy's an asshole. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station.
All right. Looks like we're headed to the dealership. Wanna go there first? Mm -hmm.